Where, what did he say? Um, nothing. He tried to cut me in line, so I stood in front of him because I was hurt. No, they were, they abused. Did you not see it? You didn't see it. I think you, you should are, move to Gaza. You should be ashamed of yourself. Move to Gaza. You are not, you are not heroes. You are, you are using excessive force. I don't want to put your name on your system. I'm getting So here we are, second day of the Republican National Convention, coming out to exercise our First Amendment rights of free speech. Uh, what happened, Annika? There's a Republican women's brunch. Uh, so we brought signs that say, women say healthcare, not warfare, a pretty, with little hearts on it, a pretty safe and kind message. Um, they said we couldn't take our signs, so we put our signs down. We stood in line like everyone else. Uh, a couple of us went through just fine, and then we turned around because there was a commotion, and they were arresting our uh, Palestinian staff member, Noor, because someone, she couldn't see obviously, from behind her came up and shoved her. It ended up being uh, Derek Van Orden, a member of Congress from Wisconsin, um, who, as soon as he ran into her, said, you are assaulting a member of Congress. And then they detained her. They still have her detained. It's been over an hour. It was Texas police that detained and arrested her. Now she's with a bunch of other police of municipalities and we just had cops from columbus ohio come over and tell us that we are banned from the fights or hotel and, and the whole area and of this hotel but let me ask you something i mean she uh had on a kafia she did yeah she had on a coping button yes so from behind if the congressman knew what this was he might know that she was pro-Palestinian. Yeah. This is a congressman known for being very anti-Palestinian. So do you think maybe he pushed her on purpose? I think I think it's possible. I mean, he saw Kofia and, you know, a lot of the people, any of the people around us are certainly uh, not pro-Palestine going into this Republican women's event. Um, we were the only ones wearing this kind of thing, and a lot of other people in line were hostile to us as well. Um, but this was sort of the highest form of escalation that it took. So here she is being detained. We hope that she's going to be freed, but she's surrounded by all kinds of police over there. And this is part of intimidation. Uh, how does it make you feel as an organizer here? First of all, it's scary that there's so many different police like from all over the country here we saw Fargo North Dakota we saw Texas State Police there were just police from Columbus Ohio um, there's Secret Service there's the Milwaukee Police of course but it's it feels sort of fascist that Texas State Police can arrest us in Milwaukee Wisconsin um, for seemingly no reason um, and the fact that a senator can physically assault you and then uh, accuse you of assault and then you're just arrested and detained for that we're here to say Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Noor. Free Noor. Free Palestine.